I had a role in my family's demise, but I did not start the fire. Centaurs don't live in Oxford, but a certain doctor did. I saw him, a preening undergraduate. Now I remember him. That key belongs to Lizzie's room. of fortune's fools. Oblivious, I live in a training ground for prostitutes. My mentor is an abuser and purveyor. I've been complicit with my sister's murderer and the killer of my family as he corrupted my mind. I sought relief from my pain and you turned me away from the truth. You are almost there. Almost free from what you fear. You could have been cured. You could have forgotten. Abandon the memory of my family. They are dead, and you should be too. You misbegotten abomination! Murderer! You blood-sucking parasite! The damage you've done to children! The abuse! I provide a service. In the great and awful metropolis, appetites of all sorts must be gratified. My family! My mind! The infernal train! The train is your invention, your defense. I merely set its schedule and itinerary. The train is coming with its shiny cars, with comfy seats and wheels of stars. So hush, my little ones, have no fear. The man in the moon is the engine here. I'll stop that train, if it's the last thing I do. As you wish, it will be.
your lust, and where your body is, your mind will follow. Perhaps it's already there. You oozing saw of depravity! Children wearing their names around their necks as if they're breeding livestock! A declaration of their pedigree. You could use one. They're proud to display their provenance. <laughs> you brute! They can't remember who they are or where they're from. How many minds have you twisted into forgetfulness? Not enough. Yours would have been a triumph. Still. You're an insane wreck. My work is done. I must stop this infernal train and the evil force that drives it. Everything's a nail, is it, Miss Hammerhead? First it was all search, break, fear, and fragmented memories. Now it's the train. Never time for tea. Mark your brains on holiday. We are ruined. Now we're all mad here. That's a good excuse for going to hell in the teapot, but not forgiving what your senses saw. Forgetting is just forgetting, except when it's not. Then they call it something else. I'd like to forget what you did. I tried, but I can't. You've used me and abused me, but you will not destroy me. No, the damage is done. The old Alice and her Wonderland retreat are demolished. You can't even recognize what's happened, and you're powerless to change it or move against me. I've made certain of that. Come to receive your punishment, then. I know I'm guilty of something, but punishment never suits the victims of the crime. Abuse is a crime the strong visit on the weak. You're right. Abusers are insufficiently punished for the damage they do. Those who witness abuse without seeking retribution for the harm pay a penalty. Your own pain mitigates your failure to act earlier, but you may not yet have paid enough for witnessing the pain of others. You corrupted my memories, but you failed to make me forget. I could have made you into a tasty bit. Clients out the door waiting for a piece from a raving delusional beauty with no memory of the past or no sense of the future. But you wouldn't forget. You insisted on holding on to your fantasies. You're mad, like your sister. Don't speak of her. You didn't know her. Your sister was a tease, pretended to despise me. She got what she wanted in the end. What is this train's destination? 
madness and destruction. You shouldn't ask questions you know the answer to. It's not polite. And that noise wasn't Lizzie talking in her sleep. Oh, no! Oh, poor Lizzie! And there are no centaurs in Oxford. Make your survival mean something, or we are all doomed!
I'll see you charged. In prison, some half-wit bruiser will make you his sweetheart, and then you'll hang. Indeed. A hysterical woman, former lunatic, roaring outrageous accusations against a respectable social architect and scientist. My god, Alice, who would believe you? I scarcely believe it myself. You, monstrous creature. Such evil will be punished. By whom? By what? Psychotic, silly bitch. Your madness will be punished. Now leave. I'm expecting your replacement. can't go home again. No surprise, really. Only a very few find the way, and most of them don't recognize it when they do. Delusions, too, die hard. Only the savage regard the endurance of pain as the measure of worth. Forgetting pain is convenient, remembering it agonizing. But recovering the truth is worth the suffering. And our wonderland, though damaged, is safe in memory for now. <laughs> 